Hello guys, welcome to Lane City and to another session. I am Austin, your literature and English tutor. On today's session, we are going to be looking at the genres of literature. Remember in our last class, we spoke on the introduction to literature, where we discussed the definition of literature. I gave us the characteristics or features of literature. I gave us the meaning of literature where I spoke on the denotative and the connotative meaning. Also, we discussed reasons for studying literature. However, today, at the end of this lesson, we should be able to list the three genres of literature. We explain each genre as related to literature in English with two examples each. Let's go along. Remember in our last class, I made mention of the genres of literature. Now, what are these genres? These are types, forms, or distinct divisions of literature. With these genres, literature can well be understood, appreciated, and analyzed. The three genres of literature are poetry, drama, and prose. What is poetry? Poetry is a spontaneous overflow of emotions and feelings usually embedded in lines, stanzas, rhythms, and rhymes. We've listened to poets We've listened to spoken word artists read out their poems and then we get fascinated with the flow of words and emotion through words. This is in fact poetry. Poetry also refers to any form of writing stimulated by and expressing emotions or feelings of sorrow, happiness, love, etc. When we read and appreciate any poem, we get to see the persona given by the poets. In this, there is a projection of emotion by the persona given by the writer. Sometimes we could have different feelings when we read different poems. Poetry started as an oral tradition with the epic during the old English period. Poetry in its form is written in lines and stanzas. A person that writes a poetry or a poem is a poet. Now there are different devices, poetic devices as they are called, that are used in analyzing particular poems. Figures of speech are essential when it comes to analyzing poetry. Imageries, whether tactile, gustatory, auditory, thermal, kinesthetic, are employed when it comes to analyzing poetry because they give us a pictorial representation of words. Meter is also used in analyzing poetry as well as stanzas, canto, rhymes, and rhythm. Now, there are different examples or types of poetry. We have the lyric, we have the ode, we have the elegy, the sonnet, the pastoral, and so many. Another genre of literature is drama. What is drama? Drama is a representation of human action and experience through dialogue on stage. Now, we have watched plays, movies, which are adapted from drama. These show human actions. For drama in itself, it is acted on stage by characters known as dramatis personae. And dialogue is essential when it comes to drama because it helps fill in the plots. 
Cartas are essential as they express opinions or ideas based on their dialogues. Also, there are dramatic techniques that are used in analyzing the drama texts. Some of them are dialogues, conflicts, suspense, and actions are important dramatic techniques. Dialogues helps to fill in the plots, which are usually taken by characters. Conflicts, however, is a form of disagreement or bone of contention that leads to climax, a heightened point of emotion when it comes to the plot structure. Actions, usually done by the dramatic persona, are used to fill in the plot of a particular drama text or play. One who writes a drama is known as a playwright or a dramatist. Like the poem that is written in lines and stanzas, a drama or play is written in acts and scenes. Examples of drama, we have the comedy, the tragedy, the tragic comedy, burlesque, farce, melodrama, and so many others. Now, I'll be explaining the prose form. Prose, as a genre of literature, deals with any piece of writing that uses greater amount of words and sentence structures, usually written in day-to-day -day speech. Now, prose is written in sentences. These sentences form paragraphs, and in these paragraphs, they form chapters. So chapter is equivalent to the acts and scenes in a drama text. Prose as a genre of literature is distinguished by narrative devices like point of view, which talks about the way or method the writer writes. Could it be first person or could it be third person omniscient or second person limited point of view? Characterization is how the writer reveals his characters through naming, showing, and telling. And prose could either be fictional or non-fictional. When it is fictional, it is usually imaginative. When it is non-fictional, it is realistic. Like I said, the prose is written in chapters. One who writes a prose is known as a prosaist or a proseman. One who writes a novel is known as a novelist. An essayist writes an essay. An author is a general name given to one who writes a prose. Examples of prose fiction, that means they are unrealistic. They are imaginative. Are the novel, which is the longest form, the novella and novelettes, short story, flash fiction, etc. These are examples of prose fiction. However, non-prose fiction are autobiography, any story written by a person about himself, biography, any story written by another person that talks about another person, a memoir talking about a particular face in a person's life, travelogue discusses events that happens in the journey of a person. These are examples of non-prose fiction. So at the end of this, I believe we got to understand what the genres of literatures are. Can you now list the genres of literature? How many are they? Three? Good. Now what are they? Poetry, drama, and prose. I want us to also give examples of these different genres. I believe we got to know that the poetry could have examples like lyric, sonnet, ode, pastora, and others. The drama could have comedy, tragedy, tragicomedy, burlesque, 
fast. While the prose could have examples or types like novel, novelettes, short story, flash fiction, autobiography, the biography, and so many others. I believe we got that. Great. Love to see you in the next session. Thank you.